Hey friends, so my website has memory issues. So um, I recently did a really big re-architecture of how things work and yeah, very clear memory leak going on here. And then when it maxes out, it also spikes the CPU as well. So like things aren't going great on kentcdods.com right now. And I'm not sure exactly why. I, I have some suspicions. I switched from Postgres to SQLite. I don't expect that to be a problem. Um, but I also switched from my own Cacheified implementation to um, Cacheified. Um, and I'm thinking maybe it, the, some way that I'm using it or something is causing um, some things to not be able to get garbage collected. Maybe something like that. Anyway, um, I have taken a snapshot of my site running in production. Um, and I, I did it right when I deployed. And then I did it um, again a couple minutes after. Um, give it some time to, to load up memory. And then I'm doing a comparison between um, the after and before. And here is the thing that's taking most of, uh, or making most of the change between these two is this JS array buffer data thing. And I, um, yeah, this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to read or understand uh, this. And unfortunately, GPT uh, can't take this either. Um, at least I, I haven't asked it too much, but yeah, it's probably not going to be able to figure this out either. Um, so there's something in here for VS Code Onigurama or whatever. Um, that's this thing, and it's used in Shrieky, um, which is Shrieky. Um, my, uh, let's see, um, MDX or yeah, something. No, no, no. Come on. It's a uh, Markdown highlighting. It's for syntax highlighting and markdown. Um, yeah, anyway, it's, maybe that's not what it's called. It's it's something like that. Um, uh, Shiki, that's what it's called. Okay, Shiki uh, GitHub, this, uh, for syntax highlighting. And so apparently uh, this is used by that and this module is appearing in the output here. So um, I'm, I'm not sure like what what part of this is the heavy thing. We've got this heap thing that's got a big retained size. Um, and then this has a pretty big retained size. So this is an underscore cache thing. Um, so this is kind of where I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's something with the um, cacheified. Um, and the actual code for all of this you can find um, at uh, my repo, kentcdots.com. Um, and you'll find the cache stuff, uh, cache.server right here. Um, so it's in app utils cache.server. And I've got, um, yeah, let's see this uh, cache thing. All of the markdown files that are for my different pages and stuff that go through Shiki, which uses this, um, they're all compiled in a special file called compile MDX. And so th this is where uh, Shiki comes in. Um, and so there's maybe something around here. And then we also are using Cacheified, um, not here, but uh, where this is being called is using Cacheified. So if we go to MDX, then we see Cacheified, oh, Cacheified being used here, um, all over the place for um, the stuff that we're downloading from GitHub, we cache that. Um, when we compile MDX, I have this compile MDX cached. Um, and so maybe something in here is retaining stuff um, that it shouldn't be or something. Um, I'm really not sure. Uh, so any tips or advice or um, things that you could suggest to me for this would be definitely appreciated. Thanks.